everyone, it's Krupa from Color My Soul and today I'd like to show you all the different products that we've used to cast stones using the Happy Dotting Company molds. So let's go through each one. The first product that I tried is something called Polycell Rock Set which is available from hardware stores and I bought 500 gram bags for each of these products where possible because I wanted to test each of them out first. So out of this 500 gram bag you'll see that I we were able to get out one of mold number one, mold number two, and a few extras as well. So with rock set, I find there's clear instructions on the packaging of mixing ratios. And once the stones were cast, um, they are pretty solid. And at the back, there's not many bubbles. So it makes a really beautiful stone. And what I do is I have this um, tray which is actually meant for ice cubes. So when there's leftover mixture, I just uh, pour the leftover mixture into these molds. And I managed to get out a few extra hearts which I made into pendants. This was just a half a heart because that's when the mixture ran out. And we even got a dolphin. Okay, uh, one thing I want to mention about Roxette is it happened to be the very first product that I used when I bought my first R stone mold over a year ago. This is a sample that I had uh, in my workshop uh, all this time and I don't keep it anymore as a sample on the table just because it's got some paint marks on it now. But this rock has fallen many times onto the concrete floor at the venue that I use and so far it does not have a single chip and um, there's just some paint marks on it but it's still in really good condition so Roxette is a really solid product. The next product we use is called Fast Greet and this product also has clear mixing ratios on the back um, one part of water to four parts of Fast Greet okay and um, so these are the stones that we got out what we noticed when mixing is that the Fast Greet is um, the powder is quite a rough grainy texture compared to rock set which is really smooth when you mix it and also um, when the mold is actually cast at the bottom um, this has more bubbles versus the rock set stone which is smooth at the bottom okay but having said that uh, this product took about an hour to set versus rock set which took two hours to set and it's uh, quite a heavy product so this is a good quality stone as well the next product we use is Powerfix Anchor Crete. This product also comes with very clear mixing instructions on the back. We found that when we mix the powder and waters together, the mixture is quite rough and grainy. And uh, when we poured the stone, there are a bit more bubbles as well. And that's not a problem though. That can always be sand tapered down. The stone took about an hour to set before we could pop it out. But overall, this is also a really strong product. Another product that can be used is Dala Casting Stone, which also comes with very clear mixing instructions on the packaging. One thing that is clearly noticeable about this stone is that it is very white in color compared to the other castings which are more grayish. The difference between this and the previous products that I've showed you is that it's a little bit more lightweight. It's not as heavy and solid as the other products, but also there are minimal bubbles on the bottom of the stone. So it is really beautiful and it's super smooth. But one thing I must mention about using this product is that it sets very easily. These molds started setting in about 15 minutes and that's when I did eventually get it right. But what first happened was I mixed according to the plaster and water instructions and I felt that the consistency of the mixture was a little too runny so I decided to add a little bit more powder to the mixture and this happened. So within seconds it started thickening and I wasn't able to pour this out into my mold. It set in my, my container that I was using and unfortunately this is wasted. Plaster of Paris and Rhino Light Multipurpose Plaster. Probably my least favorite products uh, from all that I've tried out for many reasons. This Plaster of Paris 1kg bag, for example, the mixing instruction says six parts H2O to 10 parts plasters. So 
we needed to do some calculations in order to in order to determine how much water and powder to mix in order to get our molds. Rhinolite didn't come with any mixing ratios at all. So we decided to wing it and we mixed two parts of plaster to one part of water. We did get our stones, but they are very lightweight, especially in comparison to all the other products that we've used. They barely weigh anything at all. And also, although these stones were made a good few weeks ago, I'm not sure if you can see this on the video, but I dug my fingernails into it at that stage and it's quite deep. And even now, weeks later, if I dig my fingernails into this, you can still see the indents. Um, this one as well, the Rhinolite, it's even more softer. If I dig my fingernails into it, it makes really deep indents into the stone. So not, although it sets very quickly and although it's economical, it's a lightweight stone that is not a very good and strong product. I asked Angela from the Happy Dotting Company if she would send me some Ultra Cal 30, which is the product that she recommends to use um, in her art stone molds. And she so kindly sent me this little package. And this is the stone that came out of Ultra Cal 30. If I had to do a comparison with all the other stones that we have made with the other products, I would have to say that Rock Set is probably the most similar in terms of weight and appearance as well. This is a weight comparison in grams for all the stones that we have cast from mold number two from the Happy Dotting Company. We'll start with Rock Set 271, 271, Ultra Cal 30, 265, Fast Crete, 268, Anchor Crete 294 Dala Casting Stone 233 Plaster of Paris 161 and Rhinolite 168 Okay, so there you have it. That is the results of all the products that we have tested to cast stones using the Happy Dotting Company Art Stone Molds. There are also other products that are available like Crete Stone and Dental Stone. But at the end of the day, I think it does depend on each individual and what you are planning to use your stone for. So I hope this video has been helpful and thanks for watching.